Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to screen mirror, like you see right here, your iPhone so that you can see it on the computer, like you do right here. Let's say you have an amazing app that you wanna show off to the world or you have your YouTube channel and you do tutorials this way um, and you just wanna share that experience so that it's just right for you and your viewers. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started so that you too can um, get screen mirroring on your iPhone. All right, so let's get started. What you're gonna need is the latest version of the operating system. As you can see right here, if I go to About This Mac, uh, it's Sequoia 15.0.1. And if I search my phone, my settings are right here, uh, back and about. And as you can see, I'm running 18.0.1 for that right there. Um, so once you make sure that's done, um, and if it's not working, uh, what you want to do is go into uh, system settings okay and then click on your icon which is your apple id and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and sign out okay just sign out select which services you keep copy or cancel and then etc once you sign out sign back in and that should uh, streamline the experience so that you're you're up and running but if that doesn't work here's a little trick i found because i was actually doing this i had my phone um, I was like, okay, now I'm ready to screen share. And if you look and see, my phone is on. It's like, it's unlocked. I'm thinking like, damn, this isn't working. And then finally I was like, you know what? I, I, I just can't do this anymore. And then I put the phone down and I, my phone was basically locked like this. Okay. I said, I wonder if I press connect again, what will happen? And then it basically, you just wait and see. It connected. So your phone actually has to be locked in order for, to have the uh, uh, mirroring experience with the iPhone mirroring application, which is a little bit weird because you would think that the phone, if you're used to, to screen mirroring, you never had to uh, uh, lock your phone. You always had to unlock your phone in order for the experience to take place. But in this, the new way is lock your phone. And it tells you if you know the screen mirroring is happening, like as you can see right here, I'll take a little screenshot so that you guys can see that, you know, it tells you uh, someone's using it. Um, so, you know, if that's any consolation, and if you go into photos, let's see, whoops, clicked on, I'm not sure why that happened. And if I click uh, here, see, it says your phone's being used, okay? So knowing that move, if you double tap, it quits the app. So let's say I open up an application with my mouse by clicking it, and then I want to quit it, I just basically uh, tap down on the, the lower bottom and that's pretty much how you would do it that way uh, and also check your settings go into if it's not this is for if it's not working uh, go into I'll just scroll back so you see you're going to your settings and then click on general and then go to airplay and continuity make sure you see this right here iPhone mirroring you want to see that if you don't see that update your software so you do and then reboot the phone and you want to see that see it says uh, View and use your iPhone from your Mac. Access and control apps, see? Which is pretty cool. It takes uh, it takes some getting used to, you know, because usually if you're used to using your finger, maybe if I can, or if you have a touch screen, it might work. I don't think they have that yet. Uh, and as you can see, these are my settings right here that I have. I have transfer to HomePod, handoff, that's selected on, and then AirPlay receivers on. And um, that's pretty much it. So you no longer have to use the AirPlay, which was a sort of like an isolated experience and would block out your screen and you couldn't move it left. You couldn't move it right. Like for example, here, look, let's say I want the experience to be here on the left. Let's say I want it to be there on the right. Let's say I want it to be down, etc. cetera. And, and you can move it all around. The only downside is that you cannot um, make it bigger. Let's say if I want to make it bigger, it doesn't work that way. Uh, you could do like a horizontal view. Uh, or, or landscape view depending on the application, which is pretty good. Uh, let's see if we have one that we can see what it does. Let's see, try one of the DJI apps. Oops, DJI. And I believe this app, some apps by default, as you can see, um, go into landscape mode, which is great. So it realizes that. And knowing that moving forward, again, I just can't make it bigger. So at least it knows which application, so you don't have to uh, go and flip your phone into the correct orientation so that you, um, you know, can just be 
uh, counterclockwise or, or anti-clockwise, or whichever way you want to call it. And then remember the, the bar at the bottom, and now I'm back into my phone. And that's pretty much it. Kind of neat, huh? Gotta love it. And it works. Just remember, if you you have to be on the same network, Wi-Fi, okay? Here, Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi on the phone, which you pretty much know how to do. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.